those who try to stop or pretend to try to stop the road like to say my thanks to Korea to the Ecuadorian revolution and also to all the others who have struggled that is a very honorable people in Ecuador in Bolivia and also in all those lands anyway they try to stop the road to our peaceful revolution Patricia Rolas the foreign minister of Honduras from Central America the people from the people of Morazan Viva Morazan Viva Honduras Viva victory to the dignity of the people at one o'clock I was preparing some notes I don't have much more to go but hopefully no one will throw a shoe at me here the Cuban Prime Minister has taken off his shoes maybe he's going to throw it to me maybe Danny Glover might do it I spoke to Manuel Celaya at one o'clock on the dot. We finished at one thirteen. There he is while we are here with other comrades from the world, with other presidents. There are many presidents which are very firm and they are there with other people. They're trying to fight against the repression of the coup d'etat and they are trying to fight against this coup d'etat. They have total control of all the highways. They have a total army. It's almost as if they invaded Honduras but it's their own army. But I would have to say here as a soldier as a, revolu as a revolutionary soldier to the children of Morasan, they should stop the repression of that innocent people. While we are here, Manuel the president of Honduras, is in the embassy of Brazil who has given him refuge. It, it's an embassy that is totally surrounded by over 200 soldiers. They uh, have used tear gas in a very brutal way they are trying to return it to another era but they will be swept aside by the winds of change they will not be able to sustain this uh, coup de d'etat in Honduras or anywhere else in Latin America this is a very powerful people who has been struggling for over over 90 days and I continue to resist. There you have a very firm president. And there together with her, his wife, uh, they have tried to stop food entering. They stop the water on regular occasions. This morning, in a neighborhood house in a house nearby there are other attempts there's also some evidence of Israeli support of the of the Honduras coup d'etat they have loudspeakers um, and also sort of audio speakers directed at the mine. They're trying to create panic amongst the small number of people who are inside the embassy. And they are very coward. They are, they want to return to an era of change, but they will not be able to return. 
they have closed the airports it's a people that has been surrounded but who are the coup d'etat it's bourgeoisie it's part of the state of the coup d'etat it's the state which has been taken by the rich by the bourgeoisie by four or five families they're the ones who own all the state you would have to read Lenin again uh, state and revolution the bourgeois state they control everything everything the national congress the judicial power the military power the state but there's also people on the streets uh, who are being massacred yesterday Hugo told me around the embassy Brazilian embassy while here there the president is trying to ask for dialogue to be able to retake democracy here we send our biggest solidarity to the president Zelaya and to the people of Honduras and we also call upon that they accept the resolutions by the United Nations and the Organization of American States but we also but also the United States has not recognized that there has been a military coup and but there that we have a confrontation a, a, a situation a difference between the Secretary of State and the and the Pentagon uh, you can look at you can look at or read a book called Pentagonism it's that's where uh, the heart of imperialism is Pentagon does not want change they want to dominate the world with their military bases with their bombs with their threats with the uh, uh, soldiers of invasion the Pentagon is behind the coup in Honduras there they took the president Zelaya from his house from his house in the morning of June 28 and then they took him on an aeroplane and put him on an aeroplane uh, together with other Honduran soldiers and commandos who are part of the United States and took him from Tegucigalpa and then they took him to Costa Rica and then they took him there for an indefinite period of time where they finally took him to the Costa Rica these US military who are who who are here in Honduras knew about the coup they support the military of the Honduras and the Pentagon knew about this as I said yesterday there are two Obamas the one who spoke here yesterday and someone else the other one who supports a coup in Honduras he, am, he admits and supports that coup I would say that there are two are there two Obamas or or is there just one who is it is it the one that we heard yesterday I hope that's the one that, that I hope that's the only Obama that's the Obama that we need the one who spoke here yesterday that's the one that the world demands and so now what is the situation with the coup in Honduras it's about the whole revolution in the south it's a revolution it's not just a, a revolution of the guerrillas the the historic guerrillas of the Sierra Maestra and also those in the high mountains of Bolivia where Nesto Chacabara was El Che that's that's no longer the sort of revolution that we have this is a new revolution it's not based on the mountains in guerrilla focus it's a revolution of the masses and it's also peaceful